Hello, and thank you for being with me here today to talk about hate crimes and hate speech. But we want to discuss exactly what do these things mean and how does that apply to me, for instance. So, I'm Wheel Gun Dan. Visit wheelgundan.com for all my latest activities and offerings. Let's get into this subject of hate speech and hate crimes. Let's talk about hate crimes first. Let's talk about the word hate, for instance. Let's, let's even break it down to that. What exactly is hate? So hate essentially is an opinion, okay? Hate by itself is harmless as opinions are harmless. So opinions are uh, protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution where you have the right to, uh, you know, you have the, the freedom of speech. You can even express your opinions uh, verbally. Now, when I, when I say that hate is essentially what I'm saying is an opinion which is protected by the First Amendment, it doesn't mean that I'm arguing in favor of the validity of all opinions. There are plenty of opinions that are stupid. For instance, racism, for instance. Uh, white supremacy is stupid. These are opinions that people have, and I think they're stupid opinions. However, people have the right to have opinions because opinions are just part of whatever mental process is going on in your head. You have the right to think whatever thoughts you want to think. Now, the problem is, do you take actions that harm other people in a real and tangible manner? That's a different thing, okay? So, a... a people use the word hate a lot for a broad number of things. Hate, let's break it down, is just an opinion. What I'm concerned about is, do you do anything that causes harm to another person? So, the danger to freedom in a country that's supposed to be a free country, talk to people lately, they can't even describe to me what's the difference between a free country and a country that's not free. I'll have to discuss that on a different day, but that's kind of something that startled me in recent years when I realized that a lot of people don't know the difference between a free country and a country that's not free. They can't explain it to me, so that's part of the reason why I'm getting in front of a you know, an audience like you and discussing these subjects. So, so there's a big press now to, to establish what they call, uh, to define what they call hate crimes and um, hate speech, hate speech law. So hate crimes, let's talk about hate crimes. So, hate is an opinion, but a crime is a crime. A crime is an actual act that, say, a, a person does against another person that causes real harm to a person. Let's say they, you know, they, they kill them, they attack them, they attack an innocent person, okay? The motivation for the crime has absolutely nothing to do with the crime itself. I understand that when lawmakers, they go to enact crime, hate crime laws, what they're trying to do is give some leverage to increase the penalties for a particular crime. I think that's kind of stupid, okay? If, if somebody's going to go in, and burn down a church or something, okay, it, it doesn't matter what their motivation is. They're stupid, okay? And it's a bad thing. And so if you... In, so instead of coming up with a thing called hate crimes and, and making additional laws under hate crimes and then increasing the penalty, just increase the penalty for burning down churches. 
if you don't like, you know, like if, 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 a, if a person goes and beats up an innocent person, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what their motion, motivation is. If you got somebody goes and beats somebody to a pulp with, you know, a baseball bat or something, okay, increase the penalty, okay? You don't, it doesn't matter what their motivation was because they were thinking of being, they were, they were, for whatever reason, they thought that person, that human being, was inferior to them. They thought they were superior to that person for whatever reason. And and beat them up because of what, it doesn't matter what their motivation is. Increase the penalty. Don't make this hate crime thing. Because here's here's the problem with that. Le once you have a uh, practice of hate crimes on the on the books, now all of a sudden, keep in mind, hate is an opinion. So let's say it starts off with something valid. Like, uh, you know, one person harms another person because they, in their mind, their opinions were based in race or something to that effect. They didn't like that person because they were of a different race. And that was their reasoning and motivation to go and commit, a, you know, a heinous crime of some sort. R raise the penalty, okay? But that that was their their motivation okay and that is wrong and so fine the, you you throw the book at them the problem is that once you have hate crimes on the books then all of a sudden at some point in the future you can add other things to that same uh that same body of laws called hate crimes Remember, hate is an opinion. What if down the road somebody has the opinion that they, um, trying to think of an example, it's, you know, they, they like uh, a particular sports team or they like teddy bears or they like whatever, have an opinion. doesn't matter what the opinion is. Maybe your opinion is that uh, you like a particular political party, for instance, over another political party. Now, all of a sudden, let's say that, you know, people say that if you like that political party over there, then all of a sudden um, that is hateful, okay? That's your opinion. You have the opinion that I like that particular political party, but then all of a sudden they label that hate crime, and then if you support that political party all of a sudden and they, they throw you know the the book at you. I'm trying to think of some good some some good examples of where your opinion can then be used in a malicious manner by the laws of the land to say throw you in jail or something to that effect. 1930s Germany is a is an example that people use an awful lot, where if you said anything bad about the particular political party that was in power in the late 1930s, okay, do some research, I'm not going to say it out loud, if you said anything bad about that political party, they would come and hunt you down and beat you up, but now that's just an opinion, what if, okay, don't people have the right to just have their own opinion? But nope, that's the dangers of hate crimes. When you take an opinion and make it a crime, that opens Pandora's box for then anything that a future government deems to be an opinion that is not good, then you, you wind up having a tyrannical government potentially. Hate is just an opinion. What is important is whether or not you go and do something. You have some kind of a stupid opinion that a certain race of people is inferior to another race of people. You, for whatever reason, you have the opinion that God didn't create all men equal. Okay? It would be my opinion that you're an idiot if you think that, but 
if you go and utilize that opinion to go and and cause harm to somebody, you know, to, to beat them up, to run them off the road, to, you know, cause harm to their family, to go even, you, you know, there, there's so many bad things you could do if you take that stupid opinion and go and put it into practice and cause harm to someone else where you interfere with someone else's right to life, liberty, and happiness and the ability to, uh, to live a, you know, live in a free country without, you know, people giving them a hard time or whatever, that's where it becomes a problem. So in that case, like I say, you, you, you don't make the opinion the crime, you make the crime a crime because opinions are opinions and crimes are crimes. It's very important to separate those two and it is extremely dangerous to freedom to for the very existence of something called a hate crime or even hate speech. You know, um, there's a saying that says, a man persuaded against his will is of the same opinion still. So look, if, if you're going to go, say somebody has some kind of a, you know, pick on the white supremacy opinion. Um, it's stupid, okay? It's a stupid opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, and some opinions are stupid opinions, okay? Fine. So, but you still have a right to have a stupid opinion nonetheless. You have the right to examine the facts of your existence in this world and come to certain conclusions and reason things and whatever. Okay, fine. So, this... This whole bit of hate speech, You're, you, you still have the freedom to think stupid thoughts and say stupid things, okay? That's part of living in a free country. Now, if you go and use that opinion to go and cause genuine harm to somebody else, well, then that can be addressed. But simply having an opinion, I don't even think people know how to use opinions anymore. I think they've lost the whole meaning of the, the concept of opinion. I have certain opinions. Obviously, I'm sharing some opinions with you right now, but these are just my opinions. And I expect you to recognize the right that I have to my opinion, and in turn, I will respect the fact that you have the right to have your opinions as well. And then we will both exist peacefully in the same country or community, even though we have differing opinions, because I'm not going to violate your rights as a, as a person. I'm not going to cause you harm. I'm not going to prevent you from living life, you know, the freedom to pursue happiness and all that. I'm not going to interfere with that. Likewise, I expect you to recognize my opinion the same way that I have the right to. So we get along that way. So hate is an opinion. It's a, maybe a, a stupid thing, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of something that I, something that I, I hate. I hate the idea of people being deprived of their freedoms. So hate isn't necessary, in my opinion. It, it's not a bad thing uh, if used, you know, in a just, for a just cause. Um, but that's, that's my opinion. So hate isn't necessarily blanket bad. I hate the idea that some people will deprive others of their freedoms. People do a lot of bad things in this world. The point being is that hate is an opinion, and recognizing that doesn't, uh, doesn't validate the stupid opinions that people have. It simply means that they have different opinions. And it's very, very dangerous to freedom to have a thing called hate crimes and hate speech because maybe right now they're utilizing it well 
you know, and it, it looks like everything's okay because they're prosecuting genuine bad guys who do bad things and everything. But at some point in time in the future, it could turn around and then all of a sudden, if you like the wrong sports team, you could be accused of a hate crime and then be thrown in jail or something as a result of that. And it could be anything. It could be, you know, you don't you don't go to the right church or something, you know, or that church or this church. You, it can be used in such a terrible manner. This whole idea of hate crimes and hate laws can be used to deprive people of their freedoms at some point in the future. The Constitution of the United States and the freedoms that were set up in the United States are designed in such a way to preserve freedom for many, many, many generations so that these freedoms endure and weather many, many storms. So there's nothing wrong with the way, you know, you know that, you know, the Constitution, everything works and everything the way it's supposed to work. The founding principles were, you know, God created all all people, all mankind to be equal and should be treated equally and all that kind of stuff, that's, that's fine. There's nothing broken about that. You don't need to go and make hate speech a crime because, look, even if you go and use legal authorities to go and stop somebody from expressing their opinion, first of all, they're still going to have that opinion. And um, the only thing that really counts is if they use that stupid opinion to go and harm innocent people. So I hope that conveys accurately the point that I'm trying to get across. Um, hate is an opinion, but recognizing that people have the right to opinions, even hateful opinions doesn't validate those opinions. It simply means that that is one of the freedoms that we have in this country. I think racism is stupid. People have a lot of opinions in this country that I think are completely stupid, but they have the right to have stupid opinions. What I care about is whether or not you then take those stupid opinions and go and interfere with someone else's freedom and their ability to live life and pursue happiness in the United States of America as a free person. So thanks for being with me today. That's all I really want to talk about for right now. So visit wheelgundan.com for all my latest activities and offerings. Tell your friends. If you're in a position to subscribe and get notifications, please do that as well. Thanks for being here with me today. Enjoy your day. Be sure to visit wheelgundan.com for all my latest activities and offerings. Thanks for watching.